Education in ancient Rome was extremely beneficial to the lives of the Roman society. Roman education provided a foundation for the future developments in schooling and influenced and impacted on modern society and our education. Schooling that took place in ancient Rome progressed from a simple, unofficial system to a more advanced, superior system. Back to when Rome was a kingdom, children did not go to schools, but they were educated at home. Sometimes an educated slave would be hired to teach. However, if his father had the ability to read and write, he would teach his son rather than a slave. The educated father would teach him about Roman law, history, customs, physical training, agriculture, and military skills. The boys were also taught how to manage the farm and business. Girls were taught by their mothers to spin, weave, and sew. A couple years later, things started to change. Around 200 BC, Rome adopted ideas from the Greek and began to send boys to a school outside of their home. Like I mentioned previously, the educational system was based off of the system in ancient Greek. In fact, most of the private tutors in ancient Rome were Greek slaves or freedmen. However, only the rich were educated. Education depended on which family you were born into. The rich put a great deal of faith in education. Wealthier boys and girls were educated by their father or slaves until they were six years old. Then, they were sent to school until they were 12 to 13 years old. The children from rich families were well educated and were either taught by a private tutor at their school or at their home. However, if they were wealthy enough, they stayed in school until they were 16 years old. Although the poor didn't receive f formal education, many still learned to read and write. Instead of attending a Roman school, they were sent to work. The schooled boys usually grew up to become soldiers, doctors, politicians, or lawyers. Girls rarely attended school because of their marriage occurring at such a young age. A few girls from rich families did receive education, but this was at home. At their home, they were also taught how to operate a strong household to be prepared for the time where they would get married. Their marriage usually had to occur around the age of 12, restricting them from going to school. Boys had to wait till the age of 14 when they were allowed to get married, allowing them to go to school. School day. School days in ancient Rome differ from school days in our modern world. Schools in ancient Rome were mainly for boys. The beginning of the school is believed to have started on March 24th. This day was said to have honored Minerva, the Roman goddess of knowledge and wisdom. Children woke up around sunrise and worked all day with a short break at lunch. They would arrive home at sunset to be in bed for the next day of school. School days went on seven days a week. There was no break for the weekend, however, special holidays allowed the kids to miss school. Roman schools were small, with usually only one room and one teacher. There were not many choices to choose from when it came to the classes they took. The same teacher taught boys of all different ages. Boys younger than seven did not go to school. There were two types of schools, one for younger children and one for older, more sophisticated children. Older children would go to more specific studies on such topics such as public speaking. They also studied teachings from Cicero, a great intellect of Rome. If boys were wealthy enough, they had the opportunity of staying in school till the age of 16. For kids aged up to 12 years old, they learned more advanced studies such as Latin, Greek, and grammar. They were also taught how to read and write. Instead of using a whiteboard and an expo marker, they owned an abacus to learn basic mathematics. For writing, they used a stylus and a wax tablet rather than a paper and pencil. Boys were not allowed to write on paper since it acquired a larger expense, unless they had shown that they could write well. If they used paper, it would have been made out of papyrus reeds. Instead of using pens, they used quills. Ink was made from a mixture of gum, octopus ink, and soup. Fear. Romans were strong believers in corporal punishment. Learning was based on fear. In Roman schools, the teachers taught the kids to fear. Boys were beaten for the slightest sin based on a belief stating that a boy would learn correctly and accurately if he feared being king. If the boys continued to disobey, some schools allowed two slaves to hold the child down while the teacher whipped him. Quintilian, a teacher in the first century AD, supports this belief by stating, The teacher must decide how to deal with his pupil. Some boys are lazy unless forced to work. Others do not like being controlled. Some will respond to fear, but others are paralyzed by it. Give me a boy who is encouraged by praise, delighted by success, and ready to weep over failure. Such a boy must be encouraged by appeals to his ambitions. The learning of educational principles and techniques in ancient Rome has remained fundamental to the teachings and education nowadays all around the world. 
Education in ancient Rome was extremely beneficial to the lives of the Roman society, just like it is now. Roman education provided a foundation for the future developments and schooling and influenced and impacted our modern society and our education.